Oh, hey, you have to do the fake handshake. Right. Okay. How is he going to stay for a real handshake with nobody right. if he won't stay for a fake air handshake? Mm -hmm. yeah. But when we're, when we're walking or when I'm at the dog park or whatever, he's like, will go and just like incessantly bark. If he's off the leash, he will come up to you right here and just start barking. The moment I greet the other person to say, hey, this is like cool, whatever. He comes at the, he just trots over to him and just starts barking incessantly. Just like, he's just on his phone sitting. And it's like, what was that for? Yeah. Complex obedience can be the missing link in your dog's barking issues. It's a method of redirection coupled with adding triggers to the mix. So you are first going to do the behavior, do the sit, stay, add a fake handshake, act like you're talking to somebody. Then eventually you're going to add the person and add talking to the person to the mix. Here he is meeting Prince. He really wasn't bad with dogs, but this is kind of an interesting interaction. I realized during this video, I was rewatching this video. I'm pretty intense. I'm always intense with these. I get a little more intense in this session because I need her and I need you guys to understand every step of the way in order to fix your barking issues. But this lady was awesome. She listened to everything I said. I was very frank with her. She did such a good job and has such an excellent relationship with her dog. It made it easy. She wants to give a couple nervous barks. We're going to accept that. We're not going to accept freaking out and pulling and barking. We're not going to accept constant barking in the air we're not accepting much of nonsense well we need we need more control it's it's essentially complex obedience i would call it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna walk and then you're gonna see the person you're gonna slowly pull up on the leash i want you to do a pull up on the leash coupled with we don't want that you want to hear yeah but but don't yeah. worry about it right okay. now you're gonna do a pull up on the leash with your right hand you're gonna have a treat and at the exact same time you're gonna say sit Mm -hmm. like that hopefully that treat is enough where he's going to kind of back up and he's going to go into a sit you're then going to treat him i'm going to give you a treat bag on this side then mm -hmm. if he stays in that perfect sit next to you i want you to every few seconds treat him mm -hmm. and just stand there don't tell me he's a good boy then about three seconds later or i'll say treat i want you to treat him okay then i want you to release him on the, I'll try not to give too many steps. On the release, it is not a just him go in front right. of you. You're gonna still have that short leash. On the release, he's gonna kind of leave you. I want you to possibly give him a little correction. And then at some point you're gonna have to start to walk in. And then you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. You take that treat, you pull up on the leash, sit. He's gonna sit, you're gonna treat, you're gonna stand up tall. You're gonna, and then you're gonna go treat. So you're training the sit, then you're training the stay. Right. Perfectly next to you and treat. Then treat, then release. If his release is too like, we're going, yeah. you're gonna give him a little correction. He's gonna go, oh, what's up? Then you're gonna walk again. Then you're gonna do another sit, stay again, okay. okay? He is prime candidate for fixing his problems with basic obedience mm -hmm. because he's not out of his mind, right. because he loves you. Those are good candidates for this. Yeah. Wow, you are on it, Laura. <laughs> she was just waiting there with the treats. <laughs> Did you get her in there? <laughs> That's a blooper. Oh, so now you're sitting. Okay. okay, so we don't want to sit in front of you. We don't want him even being in front of you like this. Okay. That's, I know I'm not a short leash guy, but like for this, okay. I want a short leash. Take that, put a treat in your right hand. Mm -hmm. Give it to him. That was a nice sit. You didn't even ask it, but who cares? I want you to walk straight. Ready, stop, pull up on the leash, say sit. sit. Treat. Give him a little more leash. Okay, walk. Now the pull up is not really a, it's more of a cue. Mm -hmm. okay. Now use the treat every time. Oh. Lure with the treat. Sit. sit. You're gonna combine the two cues. The pull up, you gotta condition it to mean something. Got it. It's not, I tried it without, it's, he's not conditioned to it. Right. Walk, take a trip, good. Yeah, you're cruising down the street. And I know I do, don't do a lot of short leash stuff. Sit. Treat. Okay, try to have that treat ready on that, on that, on that first pull, you're gonna be presenting the treat. Sit. Treat, loosen the leash, wait a second, put him back in a sit. And treat for a stay. Tell him stay. stay. Stand up tall. Put him back in a sit. sit. Don't treat for it. Stand up tall. Treat. Tell him stay. stay. Put him back in a sit. sit. 
Stand up tall. Treat, put him back in a sit. Stand up tall. Treat. Tell him stay. Stand up tall. Treat. Stand up tall. Treat. I don't care that he's not looking at you. Uh-uh. Don't treat. Put him back in a sit. We'll do this all day, buddy. Treat. Back in a sit. Don't treat. Wait, 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 wait. Treat. Stand up tall. Treat. Back in a sit. Wait, wait, wait. Treat. Release. Okay, A-Y. Okay. okay. Walk. Go to the, come back to the shade. It's too hot over there. You're going to do a sit right in the shade. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Sit. Treat. Tell him stay. Stay. Don't move, Carly. Wait, wait, wait. Treat. Tell him stay. Stay. Wait, wait, wait. If he gets up, you instantly put him back in a sit again. Treat. Perfect. I didn't even tell you to. Tom, stay. Stay. Sit. I want you to repeat the stay. It's, we'll get rid oh, of it. Stay. Of, okay. I, it, yeah, but, yeah, you say stay right after you give the treat. We're going to eventually get rid of the stay. We don't want to say right. 10 times, but we got to give him a little help. He doesn't understand why he's stay. perfect. Did you even get that? Tom, stay. stay. Every time stay. after you treat, tell him stay. Okay. Okay, get a treat ready. Tom, stay. Stay. Just, hey, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. What kind of dog? He's a shepherd mix. Tell him stay. Stay. A shepherd mix. Oh, wow. Treat. Man approaching. Stay. Oh, he's all black. Yeah, it definitely affects the heat. Treat. Yes. Stay. He's a good looking dog. Why does he have a black tongue? I think it's because he has a mix of chow. Treat. When you're talking to me, you are freaking not worried about me. Back in a sit. sit. You, are, you are worried about your dog while ha trying to have a conversation right. with a random dude who's asking you stupid questions yeah. about your dog. Okay? Stay. Oh, yeah. He's good looking. Yeah. Where'd you get him from? Stay. Treat. Pasadena Treat. Pasadena Stay. Humane Society. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Oh, hi. Back in a sit. Sit. This is, this is marine Stay. hardcore Stay. training, but we, we got to... We got to take big steps today. We did not take big, he made some friends. He didn't bark at guy. Okay, all good, but that's not enough. Right. Oh, wow. He's good looking. Treat. Tell him stay. stay. Treat. Stay. Take the leash off. Don't let him go. When he feels that click off, don't let him leave. Mm -hmm. Just take it off though. Get ready to grab him. And I want you to okay A Y, but say the word and release him to go play. Okay, release. Great. He doesn't want to release. I don't care. Come on, come on. Stay in the shade. Good job. Good job. Now he's released to be free. So you're going to do this today on your PM walk with no people around. Okay. You're going to start this process just like you did today. You're going to walk. You can, you can have the leash a little looser. And then you're going to take treats on your walk. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go sit, you're gonna pull up on it, the sit's gonna be right next to you, you're gonna treat. Your neighbor's are gonna think you're a crazy person. You know why? Because you're gonna just be going treat, you're gonna be standing up tall, and then you're gonna go, hi, how are you? To nobody. Right, okay, okay. The verbal hi, how are yeah. you is a trigger. There's so many triggers in there that no one knows. The trigger of, of just standing up tall and maybe glancing mm -hmm. off over here, guess what the dog does? They just get up. Mom's not looking at me. I want to see what mom's looking at. These are actual cues mm -hmm. for the dog to get up that we don't know that mm -hmm. they're actual cues. So you have to do boom. And then you, you could even stay. Hey, how are you? In a normal conversation, yeah. there's going to be moments where you're going to need him to sit, but you're going to want to not be right. a robot. And you're going to go, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that move right there is a cue for them to get up. Unless mm -hmm. you train them, it's not a cue for them to get up. So you're going to have to in your walk today and every day without people, right, right. you're gonna have to go stay, yeah. then yeah. treat for yeah. the stay. Yeah. And don't, don't the, the key to this is not the correction and back into a sit. The key to this is anticipating, 
Okay, I'm gonna do a move. Um, yes. I have the treat. Yes. Oh, he's staying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta treat right. those for mm -hmm. staying. Stay. Okay, can I, can I actually talk to somebody? Stay. No one's there. Right. Oh, hey. You have to do the fake handshake. Right, okay. How is he gonna stay for a real handshake with nobody right. if he won't stay for a fake air handshake? Mm -hmm. That's, that's, he's a German shepherd mm -hmm. who's been, had some training. Basic obedience is our friend with okay. this guy who has a good nature. We're not, his nature's too damn good for us to come out here and do nutty stuff. Yeah. This guy needs to, and he loves his mom. Yeah. And he wants to protect his mom. And he's a German shepherd. Dude, do hardcore basic obedience. Got it. And that was hardcore basic obedience. Okay. But it's, it's hard to learn. My method, which is not that unique for this stuff, is very much anticipating or doing normal movements without the stimulus or the trigger in this case mm -hmm. of, of the person. And then when that person's right. involved, he's done it 50 times. Yeah. You've done this 50 times without a person. Then that person's involved, it's no big deal. Yeah. Then, then, after a number of times of doing this on walks, you then see that person mm -hmm. from far away. You then go to your stuff. Sit, stay. Guys walk in. I just don't think we're gonna get, if he's freaking out and pulling on the leash, right. I'm not gonna do my, I don't, I don't, for some reason, I don't wanna do my leash, my leash stuff. Yeah. I wanna do basic obedience. Okay, so act like someone's approaching, cause I'm gonna approach you. You're gonna walk around here. You're gonna get to the shade right here and you're gonna do Double pull, you're gonna treat, or double pull or single pull, sit. You're gonna treat him, you're gonna say stay, and you're gonna be as cool as a cucumber. Stay, hey, how are you, Joel? Pop, when he gets up, back into a sit, don't treat a sit after he has gotten up. Right. You're gonna proactively treat all the other sits. If he's staying, every five seconds he's getting a treat, yeah. followed by a repeat of stay. I'm gonna walk right up to you, you're gonna go, and, and you're gonna tell him stay with a quick stay and a confident state before every action. So then I want you to go, hey, yeah, it's good to see you, Joel. You're gonna fully shake my hand. What are you gonna do immediately after you withdraw from shaking my hand? That's right. You're gonna instantly go to boom, boom, and repeating of a stay. That's a big deal. Yes, he knows me, still a big deal. You're literally leaving yeah. him and he's yeah. staying behind you to shake a man's hand. Yeah. That's a big deal. You're gonna go boom, you're gonna do another stay. Maybe you're, we're then gonna talk. Maybe I'm gonna get super annoying and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna stare at the dog in the face. Maybe I'm a nice guy though and I'm just weird. Like, that's okay, he can't bark at me. Right. Then you're gonna treat him. Creepy guy stared at you. Now, real creepy people, he's, go, we're gonna, he's gonna do his thing and we're gonna let him do his thing. But he has to dif differentiate real creepy from nice creepy. Right. And he can because you are gonna differentiate it. Mm -hmm. Real creepy guy walking down the street, you're not doing any of this stuff. You're literally, and then you can even pull up on, you can kind of shake a little bit and like let him kind of leave you a little bit and he's gonna go, oh. Yeah. And then he's gonna look at the guy and he's gonna bark at the guy. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yes. I'm not real creepy, I'm acting creepy, right. okay? <laughs> there you go, treat. Tell him stay. stay. Hey, how are you? Boom, back in the sit. I don't care that our neighbor is talking. Okay, tell him stay. Put him back in a sit. Neighbor talking is of no concern. Good job, tell him stay. Oh, good job. Treat. Tell him stay. No. Oh, you were, gonna pra you were gonna practice. Put him back in a sit. Okay. Tell him stay. Stay. How are you? Hey. Treat. Oh, I don't want him. Tell him stay. Stay. What's his name? Treat. Treat. Just for the look alone. Oh, okay, you don't want it, whatever. Vince? Vincent. Vincent. I don't want it. Okay, don't want it. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's so over it. Tell him stay. Stay. Shake my hand. It's good to see you Thank again. You. And take his, oh, put him back in a sit. 
Tell him stay. Stay. Shake my hand. Hey, it's good to see you again. You. Back in a sit. Tell him stay. Stay. Shake my hand. Oh, it's good to see you again. You too. And tell him he's a great boy. Good boy. I don't think you should be going to the dog park till you've done 50 sit stays on walks. Okay. Like this is going to give you some level of like, listen to mommy. Mm -hmm. Then when you're at the dog park, it should transfer. I just, right. I can't tell you what to do right now right. when he's not doing he's it. He's not, yeah. Eh, let's get some level of control mm -hmm. and then that'll transfer to the dog park. Yeah. But you need to use the exact same principles for the sit that you use for a down. So you need to start sitting there and you need to start right, yes. luring him down and then treating him and then coming up. What did Joel say? Three seconds and then treat. Right. Stay and coming up in three seconds, treat. Stay. Oh, let me get up right. and shake this person's hand or let me uh -uh, down. The, the, the obedience that we're training him is a mix of we're going to treat you for being good, but we're also not letting you on a down stay or sit stay go from here to getting up and sitting here. Like he needs to go back to where he was originally. Mm -hmm. There's some learned right. helplessness. Yes. Yes. There's, there's reinforcement and there's learned helplessness. Mm -hmm. I actually want him to just sit down and go, might as well just stay here. If we're gonna <laughs> let, she's never going to let me up. I'm just going to, yeah. coupled with, yeah. I'm going to get good things when I stay here. That's mm -hmm. the best. And it's two different things right. that are working in his brain. I don't tell people like, their dog is really good, unless their dog is really good. He's got his problems, but he has his fine points that are so good. Mm -hmm. Like his connection with you is kind of next level because it's not out of, he's, it's not like unhealthy, mm -hmm. but it's a real connection. And a lot of people don't have that. 